Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessings to you on this beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida. Blessings. Let us know where you're coming from. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Please share and invite your followers and friends. Um, you can certainly post it on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Girls with curls, right? Girls with curls. Yes, bless you. Thank you. <coughs> From the UK, California, Orlando, right up the road, Canada. Bless you. Kentwood is in the house. Yes, Oklahoma. Hello, Deborah Willis. Blessings to you. Um, from Dallas, Antigua, God bless you, uh, Calumet City, Illinois, blessings to you, Joanna, blessings, blessings, welcome and welcome. As you come on, please share, um, share the scope, share the Facebook Live, um, invite your followers, let them, let them know that we're here, invite people that um, perhaps you think have never been on, go ahead and invite them to let them know. Amen. Thank you so much for blessing us. Thank you, Connecticut. Thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you, Sharburn Five, for inviting your followers. Blessings to you, Veronica Life. Blessings, Rebecca. We thank God for each and every one of you. We are excited about today. If you were uh, joined us at midnight or even had a chance to view um, the broadcast from midnight this morning, um, please view that if you have not, please view it because we really um, got into giving thanks to God. You know, we've been asking, we've been decreeing, declaring some things that God has uh, said uh, and we felt like God was is doing. But it's time also, we have to take the time to give God thanks. Um, there are different types of prayers. Of course, there's a prayer of, pe of petition that when we ask God for something, and of course, that's the most used prayer. But sometimes we forget to um, to pray, uh, to have a prayer of thanksgiving where we're thanking God and, and honoring him for who he is and what he's already done. Many times we focus on what we want, but we have to focus on the things that God has already done and, and be grateful for his many blessings. Amen. Blessings. You guys are still coming. We certainly appreciate you. We honor each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. You're welcome. It is, you know, it is what God has called us to do. Um, you know, as you know, we're retired from our careers and you know, actually God retired us, <laughs> you know, God retired us. And, and so he wanted us to be in full-time ministry and, um, we, we surrendered, um, that to him and we trust him in the process. Amen. We trust him. We, we've seen God do some amazing things in our life as we've shared our testimonies with many of you as to, um, where God brought us from. We got married after meeting, uh, and we got married after two months that was a suddenly, amen, that was certainly a suddenly, and, and God is continuing to, um, to take us to many places and do great things, um, just not only in our life, but also through our lives as well. So we certainly thank you so very much. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. That's why we're here. We're coming together to lift up the name of the Lord. We're coming to bless him, to receive everything that he has um, for us. Oh, and, and oh, Antigua, Antigua, or Antigua, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I couldn't, I, I could tell that you, it wasn't Antigua, but um, it was going so fast. But thank you so much for joining from all over <laughs> the world, throughout the United States, of course, and abroad. We serve a global God, amen? And so we have to, um, to worship him, uh, be able to worship him with, with everyone. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that God is the God of the breakthrough, that he's called you to break through? Um, it was probably about two or three o'clock this morning and we were kind of settling down from the midnight scope. And, and God was saying that not only you, you know, many times people say they need a breakthrough, but God says you are a breakthrough. You are a breakthrough and, and, and you've had to overcome and endure some things and come out of some situations that perhaps uh, people thought you wouldn't ever make it out of. But you, you found a way to break through and to break out and also to break into new things. So you are a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Few people are still coming. We're still waiting just a few minutes. I want to give you this text. Amen. Yes. 
We are breakthroughs. Amen. Bless you, Karen. Blessings to you. Where are some of you from? Are there any first-timers on here this afternoon? Any first-timers? Prayer Warrior 42, thank you for inviting your followers. God bless you, Adrian. I just glimpsed at your, uh, your inbox. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. She's always blessing us and just checking in with us. Amen. Jacksonville, Memphis, Kansas. Yes, Kent Wood is in the house. First timers, can we give our first timers some hearts? Can we just flood them with love? Yes, bless you, first timer. Thank you so much for joining with us. God bless you, North Carolina, for the first time. We are excited. We've been waiting for you. We've been praying for you. Amen. And you have arrived. Thank you so much. We got to throw a party. Yes, lots of hearts on even on Facebook Live, lots of hearts and um, on Periscope. Thank you so much. We're welcoming new new family. That's a, that's a part of what God is doing. First Amen. Time from Detroit. Detroit, from welcome. Beaumont, Texas. Okay. Wow, blessings, wow. Bo Bo Good. Come on, just give them a few more hearts. A few Hallelujah. more. Hallelujah. Well, do something for me. Amen. We welcome all the first timers. I was looking yes. at a text, and my wife was dealing with. Uh, can you give out the phone number, please? It's actually in the description of today's um, today's um, topic. And so right at the yes. end of it, you'll see www.lejeanandvalor.com, uh, and, and then you'll also see uh, 1844, uh, 1844, we are cold. We are cold. Amen, <laughs> amen. Somebody said those curls are popping. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, keep, you <laughs> keep my eyes on you. Okay, let's look at the text. I was looking at this thing, and we're talking about breakthrough. And uh, in the Bible, there is a place in the scripture where God becomes, he, call, he is called the Lord of the breakthrough. Yes. Amen. Uh, yes, I will definitely check my inbox. Okay, so let's look at this. I want to look at a couple of scriptures that deal with this thought uh, because David becomes the breakthrough and he become, he names God uh, the Lord of the breakthrough. And mm -hmm. so I, I began to look at this and I thought it was very interesting. And when my wife said that, I began to look back at it. We have uh, another book and uh, I'm, I'm going to share with you guys uh, a, a place of vulnerability basically even for me. Um, because a couple of years ago, I started to write, we started to write a book. And as we started to write mm -hmm. that book, it seemed like everything that could come at us came at us to stop us from finishing that book. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so now we're in the process of actually finishing that one. We've, mm -hmm. uh, of course, gotten this one out of the way. We've got a few more things that we're working on to uh, to make it even better. Right. Uh, but then we're, we're going to work on that. And one of the chapters is uh, that you're going to have uh, unprecedented breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And so yes. in that book, that book, the name of the book is The New Normal. And so, uh, you know, because sometimes in life we're in a place where you need breakthrough. You need to break through something. There is a wall. There is a challenge. There is a storm. There is a place in your life yes. where it seems like the enemy has built a blockade mm -hmm. and you're unable to break through. Right. And uh, I remember back in my military days, I, was, uh, um, I spent 13 years in the United States Army uh, as a combat engineer. And so as a combat engineer, hey, bless you, Prophet Helen. I just saw you. <laughs> oh, man, bless your heart. So uh, at any rate, so as, as a combat engineer, my responsibility was, uh, number one, what's called survivability. The next thing is called mobility, and the other one is counter-mobility. And so my responsibility in the military for those 13 years uh, was to put up uh, landmines for the enemy. Mm. And so I would put out landmines, and we had different types of you know plans and, and strategies for putting out landmines uh, so that the enemy could not get to our forces. Right. But another one of my responsibilities uh, was to breach the, the obstacles of the enemy. Mm. Sometimes the enemy in warfare would have landmines minds of their own. Sometimes the enemy in warfare would have, and, and I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to give you an understanding of military warfare really mm. quickly. And yes, so sometimes the enemy has what, what you know what we would call uh, anti-tank landmines, and these mm. are landmines that are paced probably about every you know four to six meters uh, or, or four to six feet apart, so that tanks can't get through. Sometimes they're 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 buried down and they are, are under the ground, and sometimes they've been there so long, like if the rain has come and the ground is so that you can't see them, and and you know this is good, you know when you do that as far as landmine warfare is concerned. Mm. Uh, or there are other times where not only do you have landmines, but you have concertina wire. And so what happens mm -hmm. is the concertina wire gets inside uh, the vehicle tracks and it causes the track to go off. And so my job would be to go in and with explosives to breach the obstacle, to go in mm -hmm. with explosives, with demolitions, and breach the obstacle that the enemy yes. has set to keep us from getting through. Mm. 
And so likewise, what the Lord told me was, is that when I got into ministry, uh, that he would transition my understanding of military warfare and military mm -hmm. understanding of things yes. into what I do in ministry. Mm -hmm. So now I have an understanding of how to be able to breach obstacles. Right. How do we breach obstacles in our finances? How do we mm -hmm. breach obstacles in our marriage? How do we right. breach obstacles in our business? How do we breach obstacles just in our everyday life? How do we breach an obstacle in our mind where the enemy has built up a stronghold mm -hmm. in our mind? And it, and basically, yes. that's what happened. There's, there are strongholds right. that set up. Yes. And so uh, when we look at those strongholds, how do we go in and, and bust the bunker? Even, mm -hmm. even times uh, when you see yeah. a bunker set up. And so bunkers are set up so that you cannot, you know, so that they have, you know, they have the sandbags over top. They have the wire. They have the revetment. They, mm -hmm. have, they have wood. They have, all, they have earth. They have all these processes so that they can see you and shoot at you and snipe you. But at the same time, you can't get to them to snipe them and kill them mm -hmm. unless you get close. But what we developed was, was uh, what's, what's called bunker busters. And so the bunker mm. buster is, is, a, is a pack of C4 that once you get close enough and now they have bunker buster bombs. Mm. And so once you get close enough, that bomb is sent into the, the foxhole of the enemy to destroy the enemy. Amen. To destroy the enemy's wow. foxhole. And so what, what we look at with that, amen, is, is we get an understanding of how to be able to do warfare and how to break through in situations mm. where it seems like the enemy is not letting us break through. And many of you that are on this scope Jesus. identify that you're in a place now where you need to break through, whether it's your finances, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your marriage, whatever it is and whatever area the enemy has built up a stronghold against mm. you in, it, you, you need to be able to break through. Break through. Now, sometimes yes. it's going to be through prayer. Sometimes you're going to break through in prayer. And, you know, God has given us, had given us a revelation. We were, we were talking about this yesterday and I was talking with uh, a, a, a Apostle Star with one of our spiritual sons and we were just talking about military strategy as it pertains to real world warfare and then as it pertains to ministry warfare. Yes. And so we were talking about how uh, there are there are a couple of different levels of strategy that you have to employ. One of them uh, that we employ are the intercessors, amen, mm -hmm. the Shamar prophets. Yes, and so and when, when they guard and protect. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that they do is as Shamar prophets, Shamar prophets in Israel were on the wall. Mm -hmm. And so as they were on the wall, that meant that, you know, um, some of you, I don't know if some of you have seen uh, the movie, The Great Wall, yet. And my wife always talks about how I, how I talk about movies and I tell, people's, <laughs> you know, I tell people the movie ahead of time. But in The Great Wall, there is this big wall that's around China. And this is the same thing that happened on the DMZ uh, in, in Korea. Uh, this is the same thing that happens in, any, in you know, any, any combat environment is that you have watchmen that are on the wall. It was mm. something that was going on in Israel. So the watchmen Jesus. on the wall had the responsibility to sit at the top of the wall and they would scout out to see what was going on, what was going on and when the enemy is coming. Right. The next thing that happened was is that you have scouts. Now the scouts are positioned out actually into the field and what these scouts do they may go out a mile they may go out two miles they may go out three miles mm -hmm. some of the scouts may even go out 20 miles wow. and the, the okay. scouts that are out there they'll mm -hmm. take high positions in a mountain or somewhere else so that they can observe the enemy trying to attack wow. and so what happens is these shamar prophets and so we look at that and we look at that the same way in ministry we have shamar prophets mm -hmm. this is why prophets and intercessors have to be people that can see in the spirit yes. if the enemy yes. has gotten up on your objective and up on on your position and you didn't see him coming yes. you are not a shamar prophet amen right. if the enemy if the enemy has if he's able to sneak up on you and get into where you are Jesus. you're in trouble but yes. in the spirit realm we should always keep people around us who we that yes. can help us to see the enemy see afar it. off right. and then right. we have to be able to listen to them because we understand that they've been trained mm -hmm. in warfare so that it helps them to understand how to do this mm -hmm. so anyway so so here is david in a scenario uh mm -hmm. and we're going to go to good, uh we're going to go to second samuel chapter chapter 5, uh, and then 2 Samuel chapter 5, probably verse 1 through 20. Uh, and so we see David here. David is in, in verse 5. It said, Hebron, he reigned over Judah. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to 6. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither, thinking David uh, cannot come in hither. Verse 7, Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, the same, uh, the same as the city of David. And David said on that day, Whosoever getteth up to the gutter and smiteth the Jebusites and the lame and the blind that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. So David went, uh, uh, David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David, and David built around about from Milo and inward. 
And David went on and grew great, and the Lord, uh, the Lord God of hosts was with him. Now, mind you, when you say the Lord God of hosts was with him, this is jo Jehovah Sabaoth. And yes. that means that he is the Lord of all the heavenly hosts, Jesus. which means he is commanding myriads and legions Jesus. of angels. Amen. Ooh. Verse 11. And Hiram, Jesus. king of David, uh, king of Tyrus, sent unto message of David, and cedar, and trees, and, and carpenters, and masons. Then they built David an house. And David perceived that uh, the Lord had established him king over Israel, and that he had exalted his kingdom for his people's uh, Israel's sake. And David took him uh, more wives and concubines. Let me skip on down. Uh, let me skip down. Verse 17. But when the Philistines heard they had anointed David king over Israel, and all the Philistines came up to seek David, and David heard of it and went down to the hole. Verse 18. And the Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Mm. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to these Philistines? Wilt thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. And David called... Uh, and David came to Baal Perazim, and David smote them there, and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon mine enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore wow. he called the name of that place Baal Perazim, God of the breakthrough, to which in this word uh, breakthrough means to penetrate, to gain unauthorized access. Amen? Yes. And so I asked the question, I said, uh, have you ever prayed for a breakthrough? Are you in need of breakthrough in your finances? Uh, do you need breakthrough in your marriage? Do you need breakthrough in a relationship? Uh, do you have uh, some area in your life mm -hmm. where you need God to break through for you? Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. Well, God wants to do that for you. Amen? Because he, he named this place in the God's Word translation. It says, so David went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. And he said, the Lord has overwhelmed my enemies in front of me like an overwhelming flood. Jesus. That is why the place is called Baal Perazim. Them, the Lord overwhelms. Amen. Jesus. And so God wants to do that in your life. He wants to cause your enemies to be overwhelmed in whatever situation, whatever circumstance yes. you're in, whatever it is that you're dealing with. The Lord of the breakthrough, the Lord who overwhelms My your God. enemies wants to fight for you on your side. Yes. He wants to cause everything that's been held up, everything that's been abstinent, everything uh, that, 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 that it seems like, amen, there's an area, amen, that the enemy has, has got a defense upon you. And it Jesus. seems as if though you have not been able to break through through and use use every weapon in right. your arsenal, but Amen. I'm 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 reminded of when we were uh, we were military, and so we there was a couple of different op, op, you know uh, a, a couple of different uh, arsenals in our weaponry. Mm -hmm. One of them, of course, was our M16. It was our it was our personal weapon, mm -hmm. and so you could shoot with your personal Jesus. weapon. Uh, but then there there comes a time when you realize that you potentially been overrun, and so Jesus. or that or that the enemy has come close to you, and so you need to use mortifier. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so this is when you get together, when it's not just you fighting, but you get together and you call on some other intercessors and you say, listen, I need you to join with me because the word declares that what mm. two of us touch and agree concerning anything yes. that we ask, yes. that we that we'll receive the petitions My that God. we ask for. Right. So this is when we call some of our prayer partners mm -hmm. and we say, listen, uh, or some of the members of our church and some of the intercessors or some other ones, amen, that would be right. where we would call other leaders and mm -hmm. say, listen, I'm in a situation where I need some assistance. And so we would call some other, uh, some other forces in, amen. There is another... Uh, there's another thing that we would have. We had so you got 81 inch uh, mortifier, then you got 121 inch mortifier. And this is just the size of the round that you put in the weapon that fires over. And so Jesus. what happens is, and these 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 will fire Jesus. anywhere from two to five miles. And then if you get the 120, uh, then then you have the tank fire. So then you have the artillery uh, division. So the artillery guys, they uh, they don't just have the mortars; they have the actual artillery rounds. Mm. And so with the artillery rounds, they got the 120s. And so the 120s will actually fire a uh, long distance so they'll go Jesus. you know five ten miles or something like this mm -hmm. okay so now you got these guys that are firing and sending in artillery for you yes. and if that doesn't get it then you then you've got what's called uh, then you've got what's called um, uh, the 21 inch guns from the Navy and the Navy guns mm -hmm. have you ever seen a Navy ship Jesus. they've got some huge guns and so mm -hmm. when they start shooting their rounds all of a sudden you start to get breakthrough amen right. and then right. if you don't get breakthrough then then you can call what's called close air support from Jesus. the Air Force so the Come Air Force Force comes in with their A-10s. Now, the A-10s are the, are the slower-moving vehicles. Jesus. But then sometimes they'll bring in the fast movers. The fast movers, uh. Uh, when they bring in the fast movers, these are the F-16s and the F-21s and, uh, and all the other ones. And so when they come in, they come in and lay down fire, and it causes us then, where we were held up in a bunker or in a situation Jesus. where we could not break through, the, the God sends other troops who have weapons that are bigger than 
hours that will help us break through. And yes. so what you have to do then is you have to connect, amen, with your worship. You have to connect, amen, with other people in the body Jesus. of Christ, yes. other leaders, yes. amen. You have to connect with other people who have an understanding of areas of warfare that you may not. It's not that your mm. prayers are not strong, but sometimes you need some other people, right. amen. Sometimes yes. you need somebody Jesus. else. And so this is what happens. And then, and again, it's not that you don't trust God. It's not that you don't believe God, but it's sometimes, amen, uh, it, that you have to connect with some people who have an anointing Jesus. to break through. Then there's other times when I've been told, and I've been done, I've done this personally, where I've been told, sow a seed into this, amen. And as you sow a seed into right. it, it right. causes a breakthrough, yes. amen. Your yes. worship breakthroughs, amen. Your prophesying breakthroughs. Then sometimes you have to go ahead and you have to fast in this thing, amen. Uh, you, when you fast in it, if you fast in it, what then happens mm. is you really break through because fasting will cause you, amen, to, to, to break through, amen. Yes. Sometimes, I, I, you know, I, I love military, and I, I man, I've spent those years in it, and I love yes. it, amen. But what I what I found is, is sometimes I would be in a situation where the weapons that I had wouldn't break me through. Mm -hmm. I had an M16 personal weapon, and then sometimes you have a nine millimeter, depending mm -hmm. on who you are. And then there's sometimes when you even have on your APC, you have a 50 cal, and I love the way the 50 cal <laughs> fires. It's like foo -foo 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 -foo. so now you get the 50 cal, but sometimes yes. the break the 50 cal yes. doesn't break through. Yes. So then you need to be able to call in infantry tanks, the Bradley mm -hmm. fighting vehicle. The Bradley fighting vehicle it fires uh, a 30 millimeter round, mm -hmm. and so that 30 millimeter round goes even farther but then sometimes you need to be able to connect with the tankers and the tankers come <laughs> in with their tanks and the, uh and the abrams tanks so all of these things yes. Everybody has a different size arsenal. And so what I'm telling you is, is that when you're not breaking through, you need to get with some people, amen, yes. that when they pray with you, they have the power to break through. Are you yes. listening to me? Yes. Amen. And then when that doesn't happen, then you got to fast and pray so Jesus. that you can break through. Yes. Because when you, because your breakthrough, amen, is dependent, somebody else is, is dependent upon your breakthrough. Right. As an engineer, when I came up to the wire or came up to the obstacle mm. to break through, there were other infantry soldiers and other battalions and mm -hmm. other divisions that were behind me waiting on me to get the breakthrough because sometimes God has God. anointed you and called you yes. to be the one who, br who brings the breakthrough yes. and so when we get into a military understanding of things and as an engineer as a combat engineer I would come through with my C4 with my TNT whatever I needed to break through yes, yes, and when yes, I broke yes, through yes. I would create a lane and then I would Jesus. mark the lane and when I marked the lane then the other infantry soldiers came through Jesus. to assault the enemy yes. and so this is why we can never get in a place where we think that it's all about us and we're by ourselves right. because other people have anointings that we don't have. Right. Even right. even this uh, even this uh, th th this Sunday morning, uh, you know, as we were there, prophecy breaks you through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Deliverance breaks you through. Yes. Amen. Worship breaks you through. One instrument, one set of drums can break you through. You get in the right environment, and so here we were on Sunday morning, and Amen. I had ministered and I had I had prophesied, had done everything that I knew I was supposed to do, yes. and then at the end of the service, the Lord had me to call some of the prophets up. Yes. And so one of my daughters, she's on here now. Amen. She's been with us for the last six years. I, I love to tell the testimony of, of how, how, how I met her. She was walking across the street or, or, or walking across in front of the church. And I was trying to, at that time, we still believed in, in uh, uh, selling chicken dinners. Amen. <laughs> to, to raise money for the church. And so she was walking by. And so uh, she was, they were going to the bus stop. And she looked at me and I looked at her and I said, listen. I said, do you have a church that you go to? You know, where are you headed to? What's going on? She looked at me kind of strange. Like, who is this man talking to me? But anyway, here it is, years later, six years later, seven years later. Now, she's our senior worship leader. She's one of the prophets on our prophetic mm -hmm. teams. She, I call it a demon buster because yes. when she ministers deliverance, folks get deliverance. God, and so yes. I passed her the microphone. I said, I said, I want you to prophesy to this lady. She began to prophesy to this lady. And Same. I'm telling you, there was, and she began to sing the song of the Lord. And she did that. I'm telling you, the place just went berserk. Everybody yes. just went crazy. And so I'm Ooh, telling you, sorry. there were times when you have other people that are on your team, even as pastors and apostles and leaders, I have to realize I'm not always the one who has the anointing to break through in every right. situation. Yes. Sometimes I need to pass the microphone to my mm -hmm. wife, amen, mm -hmm. because she has a buckle burster anointing, amen. She has an anointing that can break through stuff. I got, you know, she's got daughters that she's trained. And so when I passed the microphone to Amber, amen, it went forth and it, it burst some stuff. Then, yes. then we passed the microphone to another prophet. He began to prophesy. And yes. as he began to prophesy, it began to, he dealt with a whole other thing. He was talking yes. about faith. It broke some other stuff. 
If you get around the right company of people, it'll cause you to break through. There Jesus. are other ones that then when they sing, when they sing, all of a sudden people begin to just right. weep and cry. Yes. Amen. That, that's what happened when Cheryl sings. She, people just begin to weep and cry. And they're like, yes. my God, the presence of God yes. just overwhelmed me. Yes. And so God will overwhelm you. Amen. Uh, uh, he'll overwhelm you with his presence, with his power, with his strength. And so we got to get in the company my of God. some people who will pr produce the kind of anointing that helps Jesus. us to break through. Amen. 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 I hope that helped to help make sense to you. Jesus. Amen. Uh, sometimes I'm telling you, and, I, and let me tell you something. I love combat. I love the military. <laughs> I loved it. I'm telling you, I had to get out because I loved it. I was, I would be the first one that would that run to the to the enemy wow. when the enemy was coming towards us. Uh -huh. I'm to my gunfire. None of that matter. God said, I got to get him out of here because he's crazy. Amen. <laughs> he's crazy enough to go run into the fight. And most of Jesus. my soldiers that knew me knew that I was in, I was in excellent shape. I led by example. If I told you to walk 12 miles, amen, in two hours, I could do it. If right. I told you to run a 10 minute, a 12 minute, two mile, mm -hmm. I, I Hey, I could do it. If I told you that you needed to score something, I can do it. And so mm -hmm. I'm telling you, everybody carries a certain anointing, right. but it takes the and whole team to come together to really assault the enemy and to right. and to right. win. Amen? Even, even in, with the military, the army is mainly on the ground. And so mm -hmm. you have the Air Force, and they, they kind of control the air. And so even with, with the Navy, they're in the water. So we've got to be able to be strategic. We have to have a strategic plan because the enemy has a strategy. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he has a strategy, and he has order... In, in what he does. And so we've got to get to a place where we have order, that we understand what our strategy is and the arsenal that we have. Amen. That the, the weapons that we have, that God has given to us, we, we have his name, of course. We have faith. We have the word of God. We have worship. We have praise. We have fasting. We have giving. And, then, and so we have to understand that. But even, even now, God is saying that he's given you breakthrough. You have gone through situations where you've had to break through in the past. And God said, you've seen these, this kind before. You have been in situations where it seemed like all hope was lost. It seemed like you were, you were fighting against a wall and there was no end to it. But even now, even now, you've got to know that God has given you power and authority. There's something on the inside of you that God is going to use to bring healing and deliverance and breakthrough, not only just in your life, but God is going to send you forth so that you can open doors and you can break through some some situations you can break through some barriers you can break through some <clears> ethnic <throat> um challenges in and, and, and so 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 other people that come behind you will be able to break through they'll be able to stand they'll be able to walk in the place that you've already broke through in so even now because one of the things that god was even showing me with uh with the midnight prayer and i don't know if many of you of all of you know about the different prayer watches those are very important they're actually in our book plug into the power of prayer and prophetic intercession, but it's very important for us to understand uh, the significance of the different prayer watches and how they correlate even to the Bible, how they correlate to different things that were taking place. Even at midnight, it is a very strategic time to pray. At midnight is, of course, ending one day in the beginning of another day. And they say uh, from, <clears throat> from 12 a.m., <clears throat> to, excuse me, to 3 a.m. They call it the witching hour. And they said the enemy is, is most active. Demons and devils and witches are most active during this time. And so many of us, we're asleep. We're, we, we, we've been accustomed to sleep during this time. And so we say, oh, I'll wake up at 5 o'clock and I'll pray. By the time 5 o'clock comes... 5 a.m. come, the enemy has already devised the plan. So you've got to be alert. You've got to be ready. You've got to be awake at different times because um, it, it, so that you're able to see the enemy afar off. You've got to understand how he th how he thinks and, and, and what he's trying to use against you, against your family. You've got to be vigilant. You have to be sober because the enemy goeth about seeking whom he can devour. He doesn't wait till 5 a.m. He's devising plans and, 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 and situations against you while you're sleeping. Amen. So we've got to we've got to be awake and we've got to understand those different prayer watches and begin to challenge ourselves to pray at different times because there is a certain level of warfare at different times of the day. You got to be able to command your morning. You've got to be able to um, to even come to a place of rest and allow your body to rest. And so we have to be able to understand how the enemy works, how he operates. But then God always gives you a strategy that is above the enemy. Amen. Because he gives you power and authority over all the power of the enemy. So we've got to be able to tap into what God is saying 
and the and the weapons that God has given us to use. Sometimes we're going to have to use everything that's in our bag. Sometimes we're going to have to call in special forces. Sometimes we're going to have to call in um, other people to come and to help us, to assist us during this, during this situation and during this season and this time of our life. So even now, even now, Father, I just thank you for these, your sons and your daughters. I thank you, Father God, that you've given them the power to break through. They walk, they have the authority, God, of your name, of the name of Jesus that is above every name. At that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you now that you are you are doing a new thing in their life. We thank you, God, that they're able to see the greatness on the inside of them, that they will begin to use their gifts, allow you to use their gifts like never before, because the gift it's not just for them. It's not so they it, it, it can it can prosper them, which it will, because your gift is going to make room for you. But God wants to use your gift to break through. God wants to use your gift to take you into new realms, new dimensions, new territories, new reaches, and to go in and take back what the enemy thought that he stole out of your life. You're not coming out empty-handed. <clears throat> you're not coming out with just your stuff. You're coming out with your family stuff. You're coming out with your neighbor stuff. You're even coming out with your enemy stuff. In the name of Jesus, you've got to know that this is your hour this is your time and <clears throat> this is your season many times we sit back and we say woe is me god why is this happening to me why hasn't it happened yet why have i gotten my breakthrough god says it's time for you to arise <clears throat> excuse me it's time for you to break through it's time for you to conquer. It's time for you to get up. It's time for you to, to, to decree and declare. It's time for you to tear down strongholds. Hallelujah. It's time. This is your season. God has prepared you. Everything that you've gone through, even in this year, things that you went through last year that you thought that you wouldn't, <coughs> excuse me, that you would not make it out of. God said, you're still here. You st you're still here. And let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what the enemy thought he stole from you. Let him know that he didn't take your praise. If there is a praise on the inside of you, it will change your situation. It will change even the way you see things. It will begin to change your entire life. If you tap into your praise, if you tap into a praise that you've never tapped into before, if you give God a crazy praise, if you give him a praise that doesn't make any sense, I guarantee you something will happen. Something will change in your life and it's going to happen suddenly. You've got to understand the rules of the game. You've got to understand how the enemy works. You have to understand what God has given you because the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. Some of your strongholds are going to come down through prayer. Some of your strongholds are going to come down through praise and worship. Some of your strongholds are going to come down through sowing and giving. Some of your strongholds is going to come down because you're fasting and, and you've been in the presence of God and you've been seeking God and you, you set yourself apart specifically so that you can get into his presence and so it, it's going to take that plus some whatever it took to get you there is going to take a little bit more to get you to your next place amen amen god amen. bless you amen. god bless you you've gone through you've been you've been in situations in tough situations you've been in in in, in, in predicaments that you you didn't know what was going to happen you were in a place of like god i don't know i don't know what to do i don't know how you're going to do it i don't know where the money is coming from but you're here today and it didn't kill you it didn't take you out so that meant you were able to break through in some areas and so god has given you he, he's given you some strength He's given you um, opportunities. He's given you revelation as to what you went through and how you went through it. And so it was to train you. It was to teach you. Even you all, as you say, you had to go through basic training. You had to had to learn some things. You had to learn uh, about the enemy. You had to learn what your responsibility was in the army. And so we, as in the army of the Lord, we've got to know what our responsibility is. There are things, of course, that God does and he's going to do. But we also have to know what our responsibility is as well hallelujah yes. amen yes. Yeah. yes yes we do we accept prayer requests yes yes you see this shirt that says pray there's another piece at the bottom but we're gonna we're gonna pray mm. even as my wife prayed she decreed and declared 
Your prayers are powerful. You got to know that. You got to know that your prayers are. You got to know that your prayers are breaking through yes. uh, the the attacks of the enemy. Yes. Amen. You got to know even that your prayers are stopping the attacks of the enemy. Mm. So you got to believe that. Amen. And then you got to believe that God will send special forces mm. soldiers in the form of angels. He'll send them. Amen. Hallelujah. And they'll they'll strategically. Even there's one uh, was a one one angel that killed a 185,000 of the enemy. So that Jesus. means that God can send one angel one. and he can send and he can cause you to break through. He can send one angel that stirred or he can send uh, he can send one person that can help break you through and break right. you out of what you're in. Right. And so God says, I'm sending my people to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sending angels to you. I'm sending help. I'm sending people. I'm sending yes. connections. I'm sending uh, people who are around you uh, and people that I've assigned to you to help you break mm -hmm. through to your next level. Amen. It may just be one small adjustment that you need to make that's going to help you break through. But at any rate, God's going to help you break through. Amen. Amen. So you got to receive that. Believe yes. that God's going to help you break through. Yes. God is going to move for you powerfully. Uh, and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a amazing amen it's going to be amazing uh, i see matter of fact i see some of you that one day you go to sleep and you're in a tough situation the next morning you wake through and you're in your breakthrough season amen mm. you're in your suddenly season so god is sending help every day and every day god, god is sending, sending help. help amen and god is going to do it suddenly for you it's not going to take all day i'm telling Jesus. you this warfare that you've been in is getting ready to suddenly be changed amen Jesus. you're going to get sudden deliverance you're going to get sudden uh help you're going to get sudden uh, uh um um, um, breakthrough as far you know in every area that you want him to break through so if you would do something for me real quick and we're going to get out of here if there's an area in your life where you want God to break through just so we can just pray for those areas that you're looking for breakthrough yes. amen if you'll just put those yes. areas up that you believe uh, that God has given you breakthrough uh, deliverance yes. amen uh, amen we, we're seeing a few of them places that you believe God is breaking you through uh, amen places in your life where God is breaking you through direction okay you're going to get it finances yes Jesus. you're going to get it employment new home yes you're going to get it amen amen you're going to wake up to your breakthrough that's our declaration amen finances new home finances marriage child's healing amen mm. yes yes uh, a home amen business amen child delivered your health yes you're going to break through depression yeah we break that now in Jesus name new car Jesus. yes finances we see it Amen. We see it. We see it. We see it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Increase on income, employment. Amen. Ministry, job, spiritual warfare, total life, mm -hmm. next level in ministry. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Provision and purpose. Yes, you're breaking through. Business. Yes. Amen. I see you breaking through. Your health. Yes, absolutely. Your marriage. Yep. Yep. God's going to do it. Amen. Depression for the sun. Yes, it's going to happen. Amen. Jesus. New clients. They're coming. Jesus. Amen. Matter of fact, I knew, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to give yes. her a call on that. Amen. Because yes. I want to help you with that part. Yes. Amen. Uh, you you want to get married, you're going to break through. Amen. Jesus. Finances. You're going to break through. Amen. Listen, I'm challenged. Matter of fact, I'm gonna uh, this Sunday. I'm gonna challenge all of our people because I'm t I'm tired of this devil of, of folks needing a breakthrough. Amen. I, I can't stand it. Amen. I, I we're gonna we're gonna fix this thing. We're gonna challenge us. We're gonna pray again and we're gonna Jesus. fast again. Amen. Because we're gonna break through. Because when break. we were fasting and praying, there were some people that were breaking through. So we're gonna pray again and fast again in the next couple of weeks, and we're gonna do another uh, consecration. Because we got sometimes you gotta you gotta hit the enemy, and then seem like sometimes he'll come back, and you gotta hit him again. Right. Amen. Right. And you gotta keep hitting him. Amen. Until you totally de destroy him and annihilate him. Amen. How to uh, want to learn how to be a prayer warrior? Amen. First time, Long Amen. Beach, California. We're coming Amen. to California. Bless you. Generational curses, finances, ministry, marriage, debt cancellation, wisdom, healing. Yes, absolutely. Come on, come on. Put them up so we can pray about them. Uh, want to be financially Jesus. independent? Yes, you will be. Desire for marriage? Okay. Yep, it's coming. Amen. Settlement. Okay, God's going to do that. Amen. You're breaking Jesus. through in every area of your life. Consistency. You're going to break through in that area. I decree it and declare it and prophesy it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Kente, it's my job. I'm, I'm going to help you with that confidence and fear. I'm going to take a personal assignment to you. We're going to break that. Amen. Yes. We're going to break that together. Amen. Yes. I'm, I'm going to come in. I'm going to bring in some C4 in the spirit Jesus. and we're going to destroy Ooh, that thing. Amen. My uh, God. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Praise the Lord. Okay. Legal case dismissed. Amen. That's going to come to pass. Jesus. Amen. What else do we have? Debt cancellation, marriage, fear. Yes, we're going to break that. Amen. We're going to break that procrastination. We're going to break it. Government Amen. We're going to see God do today. it. Broken. Yes. Become a better mother. Absolutely. It's going to mm. happen. Student loan cancellation, child's deliverance, no divorce, lawsuit victory. Yes, yes, I want to fast more. Yes, we're going to get it. Transition. Amen. We're going to do this thing in the name of Jesus. Everything that you're Jesus. praying for God to break Hallelujah. through in, you are, the breakthrough. you are the breakthrough. Amen. You are the yes. breakthrough. Yes, 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 yes. You are the breakthrough. <laughs> Amen. God. Yes, the husband Jesus. is coming back. Amen. The prodigal daughter is coming home. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Uh, immigration case in Norway. Yes, God's going to do it. Jesus. Amen. I've seen God do some amazing things. Yes. Student loan uh, debt cancellation. 
cancellation. Amen. They garnish. Okay, God's going to do it. Persecution, prophetic mantle. Yes, breakthrough, Father. Let them break through in the name of Jesus. Every area, every situation Jesus. that they're requiring breakthrough in, Father, you do it in the name of Jesus, name God, of that you Jesus. would get the glory. The yes, Jesus. it's happening now. Our intercessors are standing in agreement. They're Jesus. praying with you. They're praying for yes. you. They're moving now. Amen. They're believing God. Yes, you are breakthrough. Amen. So every area that, yes. you, that you needed it for, Amen. Yes, the, the brother's 50 year sentence. Yes, sir. Now, I just want you to put in there, I am breakthrough. Come I on. Am breakthrough. I am breakthrough. I just want you to put that in. Put in, I am breakthrough. Make that your declaration. You've talked about what it is. Now, just put in, I am breakthrough. Amen. Put it in now. Write it in. I am breakthrough. I am breakthrough. I am breakthrough. I am breakthrough. Jesus. You got to decree it. You got to declare it. Open up your mouth and say, I am breakthrough. Yes, Amen. God. Suddenly, you are breaking through. My Father, God. every word that they've put up here and everybody that says, I am breakthrough, mm. we declare that today is the day that God yes, they become yes. breakthrough My and God. even as they break through God even as you said to let David break through the troops oh yes. God we declare now that they're breaking through in every Jesus. situation every circumstance that seems to be held up they are breaking through Lord they're breaking through Jesus. nothing is holding them up they're My breaking God. through yes. oh God because every they are breakthrough every down. barrier God every wall God every obstacle Petition. every Constantine offense God every every uh, landmine God every one of those we're breaking through them God Jesus. we're planting our C4 we're Ooh. putting our T, T, uh, uh, TNT, God. We're putting our Bangalore torpedo, uh, torpedo through it. Father, we're putting, Jesus. oh God, even our, uh, our anti tank uh, uh, weapons, oh God. Everything, God, we're putting our tank plow through it. Jesus. Father, everything we need to break through, we're breaking through, oh God, mm. in the name of Jesus, because we are breakthrough, God. Jesus. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Every situation. The Lord said, You're going to break through. Yes, you are breakthrough. You've, 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 you've claimed it. You've declared it. You've decreed mm. it. And so now it's got to come through for you because you are breakthrough. Yes. Amen. you got to receive that. you got to get that down in your My spirit. God. Amen. Yes. That you're breakthrough. Ooh. you got to believe it. you got to receive it that you're breakthrough. Jesus. Amen. And it's happening for Jesus. you suddenly in Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Receive that today. Amen. Go forth and be the breakthrough that you've asked of God, that you've required of God. You go through and you be the breakthrough that you need. Amen. Because Amen. I'm telling you, as you break through, you're going to destroy stuff. You're going to bust bunkers today. Amen. Jesus. We had weapons. We had C4. We had TNT. We had we had all kind of anti-tank landmine uh, warfare uh, breaking systems. We had uh, we had tanks that would plow through the minefield. And I'm telling you, you're getting ready to be, be like a, 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 a Abrams tank. Amen. That's getting ready to plow through a minefield. Mm. Amen. You're getting ready to be like a, a Bangalore torpedo. Amen. Jesus. That goes through a minefield. Amen. My you're getting God. ready to be like a, a stick of C4, a TNT, amen, that's Jesus. blowing bridges that the enemy has. Jesus. You're going to blow everything. You're going to blow everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, that's been standing in your way. You're going to blow it. If there's a wall, we're going to put, we're going to breach the wall. Yes. We're going to put C4 and TNT on that Jesus. wall and we're going to breach it. Amen. If there's, if there's a ceiling that you need to come through, amen, you're going to breach the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to use everything uh, that you have breakthrough for your church absolutely yes. amen amen we're sending yes. the, the, the tnt of the spirit in yes. to break My it amen God. to blow it amen Come to on. destroy it amen yes. i'm telling you that you are yes you're going to finish your, you're going to finish your book everything that's been holding you up we're going to break it now it's going to be every breakthrough limitation. every limitation is broken now mm. in jesus name amen jesus, jesus is your breakthrough yes. he is the lord of breakthrough yes, he, he is, is the lord who overwhelms your enemy whatever jesus. your enemy is he's breaking it through yes. he's blasting through it he's destroying it he's totally obliterating it in the name of Jesus, we declare it to be so. We decree it to be so. And we thank God that he is doing it, and he's doing it by his power. It won't be your, by your strength or by your might, but by his power. Amen. Yes. It's going to be by his spirit and yes. by his power yes. that you're breaking through. So we bless you now. We thank God for you. We love you. We appreciate you. Amen. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to get off here, but but <laughs> but stay in that. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Prayers at Route Demons, an yeah, excellent book. Amen. Down, yes, right. Through. You're not breaking down. You're breaking through. Amen. That's your, <laughs> that's your testimony. You're mm -hmm. breaking through. You're blowing. Amen. I'm a matter of fact, I'm going to post some stuff on our Facebook page. Yes. I'm going to post some pictures of some combat engineers blowing through walls. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You're getting ready to blow through walls. I'm going to put, put some pictures Ooh, of an M1 God. Abram firing his weapons. Jesus. You're getting ready to break through like Come that. On. I'm going to put some, some videos up. Ooh. Amen. Of, of soldiers firing. You're going to break through like that. You're getting ready to enter into a place in warfare. Jesus. Amen. That's going to literally blow your mind. You'll be like,
like, my God, I didn't know I was this powerful. I didn't know mm. that I was this anointed. I didn't Jesus. know that I was this strong. My God. Amen. You're getting Boom. ready to blow through mm. every obstacle of the enemy. Are you listening Jesus. to me? Every obstacle Ooh, of the enemy, and you're getting ready to my break God. through it. There is not an obstacle that yes. we were not able to break Come through. On. When we put in no our sickness, amen, no let me disease, tell you something. Nothing, amen. When we no couldn't thing. break through with the weapons that we had, nope. we called for mm -mm. bigger weapons. We called, amen, for them 21-inch guns from the naval gunfire. We would call for the F-21s Ooh. and the F-16s to come in my and blow God. it up, amen. We called for T4, you. I mean C4 TNT. If one stick of C4 didn't do it, amen, we put a couple others. Some of y'all are like a stick of dynamite. Some Ooh. of y'all are, 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 are weapons. Some of y'all are the 21-inch gun, uh, naval gunfire. For some of y'all, right, you you uh, a bulldozer, amen. But what they would do, now let me tell you something great for John, a bulldozer moves too slow. What they would do is they would put a bulldozer blade on an M1 Abrams and it would, it would move fast and before you knew it, it would punch through the obstacles of the enemy. So I'm telling you, it's your season. Amen. Our Facebook page is Lejean and Valora. Amen. Please go to it and like -A -A it today. L-A-J-U-N-A-N-D-B-A-L-O-R-A. That's it. Amen. And so yes. if you need to, uh, as always, I mean, some people don't, some Facebook people and Periscope people uh, don't, uh, you know, they don't tell people you can call us and we'll pray for you. But we believe in it, man. We'll pray yes. for you. We'll take the time. Amen. We're not too busy to pray for people. We're not too busy. And if we can't pray for you, we'll send the call, amen, to one of our intercessors and they'll pray for you and they'll yes. believe God for you to do some amen. amazing things. Amen. amen. And so we believe God My is God. breaking through Jesus. for you like never before. My amen. God. You got F-16s and, 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 and matter of fact, I'm going to put some pictures of it. Even at A-1. <laughs> we have an A-1, man. The A-1 Ooh. It's a slow fire, a flying God. vehicle, but it's tough, man. It's, it, yes. When it drops bombs, it busts bunkers, Ooh. amen. And so every place the enemy has dug in in your life Jesus. and where he has, he has developed some kind of stronghold, mm. amen, we pray now that you be now like David, Jesus that you name. break through, yes. amen, and that you not only break through, amen, but you to annihilate your enemy, amen. My and so God. we bless you because we serve the God who is the God of the breakthrough. Amen. And we declare he's doing it suddenly, suddenly. in Jesus' in name, Jesus amen. Name. Listen, we love you guys. Yes, the enemy that you see now, you will see no more. That's right. You will see them no more. You will see that thing no more. No more in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' well, name. Well, listen, we love you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for sharing. Thank That's you. right. We mean business. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Y'all the best, too. Bless you. Ooh. Ooh, Annihilate yes. your enemy. Amen. Yes. You got to receive that. Amen. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you for invite, having invited your followers today. It means so much that you would share <laughs> uh, the anointing that, that we have Amen. on our lives and share our prayers and share our mm -hmm. teaching. Amen. Uh, yes, that's right, Chuck. That's right. Absolutely. Yes, it was intentional. Yes. Uh, you know, I thought I was supposed to be an x-ray lab technician. And so when they put me in there, they put me, gave me an M16 and a stick of dynamite. <laughs> I didn't understand it. But now I understand yes. that it was for the purpose of what yes, I'm called to God. do now in the kingdom. Yes, Amen. Uh, that number is, and it's in the, it's in our, uh, in our, um, in the description, but it's 1-844-W-E, <clears throat> the letter R, and C-O-L-E. Amen. 1-844-WE-R-COLE. Yes. God bless you from the UK. Yes. Amen. Thank you and bless all of you ladies and gentlemen today. Oh my you goodness. are bad. Amen. Yes. You, you cold-blooded. Amen. Mm. I used to say you cold-blooded. That's old. That lets you know how old I am. Amen. But you cold-blooded. Amen. Yes. You, you are, are bad. Yes. Come on. You, you are, are breakthrough. breakthrough. Yes. You're breakthrough. You are breakthrough. That's yes. right. Through barriers, through challenges, through, through adversity. Walls. Amen. Through you storms. Through it. You are coming, coming through. through it. You coming out of it. Come on. You are coming through it. You know, I, I read a book. Nadir, we, I missed you, but I understood I miss you. Yes. Amen. We love you. We love you. Yes, yes. Lord. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just decree that. Amen. Hey, can put they a say your hair is the bomb. Ah, Y'all can put a praise on it because it's, it's blowing already up. done. Yes. It's blowing up, girl. Yes. You're so cute. <laughs> she sure is. That's my baby. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're in Tampa. Yes. Amen. Yes, it's Weave. Somebody said, <laughs> is that weed though? Yes. Somebody, is it weed? It Lord is. Jesus. It's but it's um, yours because you paid for it, 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 right? It is. It's called the um, Go Go Curls. Okay, you better yeah, do it, girl. Go Go Curls. Yeah. Only my wife would tell her like that. Yes, we <laughs> hey. are in Tampa. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. We love, love you. Guys. We bless you. Yeah, it's still we mine. We thank God. Yeah, yep, it's her. paid for it. <laughs> But my hair, you know, my hair is natural. It's, it's long, but it's Yeah, her just... hair is like down to the middle of her back. But, but um, she's be, we, we go so much and she's yeah. working so much that it's hard for her to have to stay in the beauty salons and all that stuff. And so, yeah. especially when you go to the nations, because we're getting yeah. ready to head out. And so it's, it's I yeah. I need something, yeah. Hallelujah. Well, listen, we love you guys. <laughs> We'll talk with you soon. We'll talk with you soon. Love Amen. You. We're praying for your school. Yes, we are. Yes. Amen. We're coming over to North Carolina. Absolutely. My we sure God. are. Yes. Absolutely. 
North well, listen, Carolina. We're getting out of here today. Love you we so love much. you. We'll talk with you soon. You are breakthrough. All right.